Hello friends, today we are going to talk about the pivot table. Uh, pivot table is a, one of the most powerful tool which is available in the Excel and today we are going to explore more on the pivot table. But before we get started, I would request you to please like, subscribe and share our channel, this video. And don't forget to use the comment section of this video to ask any questions. I will be happy to assist you in in terms of any questions or queries with you have with respect to the pivot table now let's deep dive into the pivot table so uh, for analyzing the pivot table data i should be having a very good data set a complex data set and uh, using that uh, complex data set i will be able to explain you how the pivot tables are made and how the complex data set can be arranged into very meaningful patterns now what is pivot table pivot table is an interactive way of quickly summarizing the large amount of the data set you can use the pivot table to analyze the numerical data in detail and get some meaningful patterns from the data set pivot table is usually used in analyzing a very large amount of the data in a user friendly way now this is about the definition of the pivot table i got this data set from I have written this uh, data source in one of the tab and I will be up uploading this worksheet um, in the description section about for of this video so this data set is available in kegly.com this is the link to the data set now let's see what is this data set this data set talks about IIT JE exam patterns and how the students have selected the various codes and programs and this talks about various institutes various program which the institute offers duration of the programs and what is the name of the programs and i have also added all the data definition here for the so that we can understand and digest the data set properly and then we will try to derive some meaningful way of analyzing this data set so now coming to the category it talks about various categories like general obc sc st and other categories which is available for the exam and the other most meaningful pattern which you want to derive out of the data set is the opening rank and the closing rank for the particular set of the candidates what is the opening rank of the student M means in the je exam what rank from the minimum rank a student is opting for the particular program and what is the maximum rank till the uh, a student has taken that program now this is the complex data set and as you can see it's a huge data set now we need to see how we can derive a meaningful pattern from this data set obviously for just by this data set uh, we cannot derive any meaningful pattern out of it let's see how pivot table will help us so for making a pivot table just select one of these cells and go to the insert pivot table now before we dive in further into the pivot table you can see there is a recommended pivot table patterns also but uh, most of the time this recommended pivot table is not useful i always recommend it to go and start uh, your own pivot table so that you can arrange the data based on how you want and i will help you to arrange understand how you can put your own pivot table so as soon as you say pivot table and create own pivot table you can see it talks about the table range by default excel is intelligent enough to uh, select all the data set so if you see it is uh, taking up to 4959 4959 and you can see this dotted pattern so it has gone up to all the way up to 64959 64959 till till last so it has selected the entire data set and uh, where you want to place this pivot table you can place the pivot table in the some existing worksheets or new by default i have selected new let's go there now this is the by default pivot table fields and it has gone into the new sheets where the pivot table will be created now just quickly see what are the various fields are we can come here and see um, so these are the various sections by which the pivot table will be defined the first one is the uh, which will be used in making the pivot table um, these are all fields which are available in our excel 
Now here we have uh, some settings which is nothing but a layout option to change the look and feel of the data set. I will go through it and see, show you how look and feel can be changed for this section of the pivot table fields. Now these are the ma main four sections which defines the pivot table. One is the filter. You can drag a, any one of these and put it in the filter section and it can be used to filter the whole data set, filter the whole pivot table based on those parameters. Now row as it obviously signifies the data which you want to keep it in the row, data which you want to keep it in the column, you can drag and drop in the row and column and the value is the numerical value which we want to arrange in the pivot table uh, here. Now let's go back and do some hands on. Now we have the data, uh, data set here and all the data sets columns, uh, all the fields are available here. Now, what we can do to start with, let's select some fields and see how the data can be arranged. Let's take Institute. Institute shorts and filter. So we have got all the various institutes which is available in the for the JE exam selection. Then let's see what are the uh, degree they offers degree short which they offer and under that degree short what are the various program names so I have dragged and dropped these fields you can always see from here or you can always type the specific section now you can see the data is arranged in this format various institutes what are the various courses they offered for example IIT BHU one RSE and then various courses they have, uh, offer is the B Pharma, B Tech, B Tech plus M Tech and under that what are the various courses which you have uh, which is available. See it is ordered in the same order. For example if you change any one of these order if you put program in the second then it will change. It will become program and then it will be course which is not meaningful that's why it should be arranged in this, this order. Now we can have certain as we have seen the filter section we can have a certain sections in the value sections we need to see what is the opening rank and what is the closing rank. So we can see opening rank in the value section here and the closing rank. By default, this value is come at the sum of the closing rank. We are not interested in the sum of the closing rank. So we can write, draw, select the drop down option here, select the value field and we can select the count, average, max and minimum. In this sense, opening rank, I am interested in minimum and here closing rank, I can select the maximum of the closing rank. So this, this will give me a detail that for BTEC course in com computer science, BTEC course in computer science, the candidate which got the fourth rank in All India JE exam, he opted for this course and this course is closed at 2493 rank. So up to 2493 rank only people could take it after that this seat was filled. So again, based on this itself, we have got some pattern. Now, what is missing? It is giving me the computer science opening and closing RAM across all the years, but I'm not interested in the all the years. I'm not the historic, entire historical data. I'm interested in the year by detail. So if that is the case, what we can do, we can take year section and put it on the filter. We can also take institute type, and put it in the filter. Now what we can do, we can see we, if you am interested in only knowing that what is the pattern in 2021, just select 2021 and press OK. Now I am only seeing the data in 2021. What is the pattern for the computer science? See the pattern has little bit change but of close to the historical figure. I can also filter it based on the IIT and NITs. In case I'm only interested in NITs, I can select from here and only NITs data will be available. You can see NIT for the computer science is start from 225 and it, it ends at 52,000 rank. Let's make it more complex and let me try to understand how 
further detailed information can be dictated from the this pivot table we can add some program duration Uh, program duration which is available in this data set and quota and the pools let me explain all these things now now if I'm only interested in IIT data let's say and if I'm only interested in the program duration which is four year now it will automatically filter out and see now for IIT BHU it is only giving me the BTEC codes if I'm only interested in five-year codes then I, I will be filtering out the B, uh, BTEC codes only these five years codes pattern I could see this is how the entire data set can be filtered based on the field set which you are selecting the quota here talks about the all India uh, quota then there is an state wise quota which is Goa and other state uh, Andhra Pradesh this is all India quota so if you want only all India quota we can filter it on all India quota then pool is based on gender neutrality or the female only seats so if I want to dive down only female only seats then we can filter it from here an entire data set will be filtered on that now we got some pattern let's say i'm interested only in the gender neutral seeds so i could see what is the opening rank and closing rank in 2021 for the btec course in any one of the iits how the data set looks like which obviously you cannot find out from this crude data set which is available here right now we can dig down further deeper into it what we can do as you can see what is category if I want to find out this opening and closing ranks how it was spread across categories so let you can take um, a category sorry and put it in the column section now see the entire data set is rearranged for this now you can see for the general category for the general category these are the minimum of opening and closing when then these are the general EWS we can see what is the definition of general EWS uh, is the general economically weaker section so for general economically weaker section this was the two this is the two field so these are the various category wise various category wise you can see the opening and closing ranks of any institutes now you can see how powerful the uh, pivot table is entire crude data which is dumped for the period of a five years for all iit je exams which is spread across in around 65000 rows it is arranged into a very meaningful pattern and which we can see entire data is a meaningful pattern in the just some filters and for rearranging we can find out the what is an opening and closing patterns uh, across IIT and J and uh, the entire data is giving me some meaningful patterns now you can find out how um, useful the pivot table can be now one more thing this is the pivot table which I have generated from the entire data set let's say I'm not interested in generating the pivot table from the entire data set you have an option to select a pivot table from the selected data set how we can do that you can go to insert pivot and here it is by default selected all the rows so from here itself you can select some specific data set let's say only I'm interested up to here so you can see only up to row 25 it is selected this is how you can take in place of taking the entire data set you can select the specific data set and create the pivot table but by default if it is meant for analyzing a very complex data pattern so it's up to you how you which kind of a data set you want to select but you can select the entire data set and play around with the values thanks all guys for watching this and uh, please do approach us in the comment section to find out question or queries and i will be happy to assist